Hey guys, this is Jason. Huh? Today, we're going to do a quick video to share with you how do we add the Facebook Pixel into your Eventbrite. The reason why we want to do that is, first thing first, uh, for those people who want to create event, whether it's online event or offline event, it is perfectly fine to use Eventbrite as a start, whether you are doing a free event or paid event, because it saves you so much time to create a landing page and to start cl uh, collecting in registration and even payment without going through the hassle of building a landing page on your own. You see, this is what I always emphasize on. Whenever you have an idea, you don't need to go through all the hassle and spend the time and money to create the landing page and everything beautiful for it first. You need to have a way to test the idea first and Eventbrite is the easiest way to do this, right? So all you need to do is just go and create a free Eventbrite account and then, you know, just start creating your event. Now, the next thing that you want to do is, you, of course, you need to run ads for your event. But before you do that, it's really important that you create a Facebook pixel and link to it so that you can start retargeting people who visited your so-called Eventbrite landing page and did not sign up or even to create all these retargeting purposes. So first thing first, you create your event, okay? Then you come back to your Facebook business manager. Then you create a new event pixel. I mean, create a new pixel for your Eventbrite. So all you need to do is very simple. Uh, you go to business.facebook.com. This is the thing that you go in and you click on the nine dots. So remember the nine dots is always your best friend, okay? Click on it, go for business settings. And on the left sidebar, come all the way down to Pixel. Now, inside Pixel, so these are all the pixels that I have. Now, my recommendation is create a new Pixel for your Eventbrite uh, purpose. You don't want to mix up. Okay, my rule of thumb for Pixel creation is one Pixel for one domain. So basically, if you have abc.com and you want to create multiple subdomain like abc.com slash one, abc.com slash two, you use one single Pixel. It's really to make it easier for you to do tracking and for the for the learning to complete. And then over here, because you're actually essentially bringing people to Eventbrite, right? So you need to create a new Facebook pixel. So all you need to do is click on this blue create button and then you rename it to maybe Eventbrite ABC company uh, and all these kind of thing. The URL is not really needed. You just click continue, continue, you know, just a couple of clicks, then you have a pixel created. Then this is my Eventbrite pixel, right? Then you have this pixel ID. All right, then you have this, this pixel ID, then this is the pixel ID, all you need to do is to click to uh, create, copy to clipboard, and then you come back to your event, right? Now when you're creating an event like this, okay, go to the left sidebar, go all the way down to marketing. Inside marketing, you have this drop down and you go into tracking pixels. Now this is where you go into your pixels tracking, as in like Facebook pixel setup. Very simple, you click on Facebook pixel, okay, and then you can go for now the difference is, okay, if you are using this profile to create a lot more events moving forward, then I would suggest to go for all events. And then, uh, yeah, I would suggest to go for all events unless you have any specific reason to only track for this event. Then the next step is very simple. Just paste the pixel ID in and then click save. That's it. That's it. This is it. This is all you need to do. Then you have the pixel set up over here. It's all done. Okay, so this is how you actually insert, first you create a Facebook pixel, a new one for your Eventbrite and insert it into your Eventbrite account. Then you have everything set to go. All right, so this is how you insert and create a pixel and insert a pixel to your Eventbrite account. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button or you know just follow and share to make sure that you know, you'll be notified whenever we have new videos. Uh, usually tips about Facebook advertising and digital marketing coming your way. So this is Jason, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.